What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to my travel vlog. We are here in Rome. We currently just stopped at a mercado to buy some salami and some goat cheese with some prosecco that we're gonna be eating later. I started the vlog late today. We hired a local person to do a walking tour of the Vatican City area. Now, after having such an amazing tour, we're gonna head over and pick up our city pass, which we purchased. I don't know if I'm gonna recommend this or not. It was about 90 euros, but it includes all metro transportation. We're gonna hop on, hop on bus passes, entrances to the Colosseum, and to Vatican, and to the Sistine Chapel, and dozens of other main attractions throughout Rome. So once I just did the adding and subtracting the costs and the benefits, um, we thought it was worth it since we're kind of hitting the main touristy spots on this trip. I'll link it down below if you're interested in picking up one of those passes as well. We're gonna head over to the Vatican Museum and explore the Vatican and see the Sistine Chapel, which I'm really excited about and I'm loving Rome so far. Plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> Our tickets for the day pass for the Vatican actually don't activate until tomorrow. So we have to come back here. The lady suggested that we head towards the Colosseum instead since those are the biggest main attractions here. We probably won't have time to do that in the Vatican tomorrow. So we're gonna take a bus. My husband's not happy. He hates the bus. Hey guys, say hi to my mother-in-law. Isn't she amazing? <laughs> we've definitely had a couple of bottles of Prosecco since we've been walking around. So we're feeling good, but yeah, we should continue on. Yes, your mom will get married one day, Richard. Why does that upset you so much? Why is that a big deal? Plot twist number two. So apparently online it says that the Coliseum closes at 7 p.m. But during the winter they close at 3.30 p.m. So here we are, came all the way to the Coliseum, and it's closed. Today has two strikes already. And he is thrown out. Ball was on the ground. So I think we're gonna close out today maybe <laughs> start again tomorrow <laughs> so we'll see you guys later. good morning guys and welcome to day two here in Roma yesterday was somewhat of a failure we did take our walking tour around the city but we were unable to visit the Vatican and we weren't able to see the Colosseum so we're gonna try it all again today it's a bit of a gloomy day here in Rome kind of rainy, but that's okay. Hopefully the weather will keep the massive crowds away. We finally made it into St. Peter's Basilica here in Vatican City. Just FYI, it's free admission to come in here. So don't worry about being scammed, about buying tickets, it's absolutely free. The only additional charge is if you would like to, you can climb to the roof of the St. Peter's Basilica. It's called the Dome Entrance, and I think it's maybe 10 euros, something like that. I don't think we're gonna do it today, but I have done it before, and it's really, really beautiful. So if you wanna get a nice overseas view of Vatican City, I highly recommend it. St. Peter's Basilica. And one of the things that we learned yesterday on our walking tour, which I found very interesting, well, our guide, this is his opinion, by the way, on kind of the state of affairs in Rome, um, which is basically based off of three pillars, that being the church, uh, the mafia, and then the state, which is the actual government. And basically all of Rome is either owned by or um, was helped brought into fruition by the Mafia, by the Pope, or by government to wing. 
I've been to Rome one other time before, about 10 years ago, and I didn't have the opportunity to come visit the Vatican Museum and the Sistine Chapel because it's closed on Sundays because the Pope gives mass in St. Peter's Square on Sundays at noon. So if you definitely want to see the Pope, come check him out on Sundays at noon. I got to see the Pope, but I didn't get to see the Sistine Chapel, so I'm really excited to see uh, the genius of Michael Angelo. Directly across from the Vatican, you'll find Castel San Angelo, and it's basically a fortress that the Pope uses in any case that Rome is under attack. There's a bridge that connects the Vatican to this fortress, and I guess back in those times, I would say it's definitely impenetrable. It's massive and tall, tons of rocks. Take a look. You know, me and my hubby, we celebrate our one year anniversary in a few days. Pretty soon. And we're here in Rome. Love you, babe. So the Colosseum, what really represents to me is just a lot of death and horror and agony and just unconscionable acts during that time of civilization. I was reading that about 5,000 or so gladiators per year would die here um, in the Roman Empire until its fall around the 5th century AD. So you can imagine that was tens, hundreds of thousands of persons. It's incredible how much death and destruction this place caused. Um, now it's just sits here as a dilapidated building and literally to me it's, I see it as a symbol of just death and slavery and just very awful things. Uh, but nonetheless it is a part of our history and with that you gotta accept the good and the bad. Uh, tons of contributions that the Roman Empire gave to the world and with that came a lot of death. <sighs> Such is life.
Guys, that is a wrap on Rome. We were here three incredible days, but our time has come to an end. Tomorrow, we're gonna take the train down to Napoli. It will be my first time visiting there, so I'm really, really excited to experience all that Naples has to offer, as well as the incredible pizza which was invented there and the sites of the Amalfi Coast. So please be sure to subscribe so that you can catch all and more that there is to come on this trip here in Italy. I want to thank you guys as always for watching. Lots of peace and love to you and your family. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. That's going to date this video. You're going to see how far behind I am on my editing. Um, but anyways, by the time you watch this, I hope that you guys have an incredible Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you choose to celebrate with your friends and your family, and especially a uh, Happy New Year. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Lots of peace. Bye.